Well, good morning, guys. Hope I caught you at a good time, or if it's evening or uh, dinner time, even. I just finished up my P90X3 uh, workout. It's a 30 minute workout. I try to do that at least five times a week. Sometimes, uh, usually, I take the weekends off Saturday, Sunday, get to sleep in and rest up. But uh, that's one of my goals is just to keep on moving and uh, stay active. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta stay active in life. So, that's my uh, tip for the day. But I'm gonna go hit the shower, get all cleaned up. And then I'm going to meet you back here and we're going to do an unboxing and I'm going to go over a little story that occurred to me or happened to me over the weeks and I'll be right back. Alright, we're all cleaned up, got my shower in, feeling good for the day. And now the uh, story I was uh, going to tell you about. A couple weeks ago I woke up to do my P90X just like I do uh, every day or most of the days. And I turned on the TV, turned on my PlayStation 3 because that's how I play my discs and uh, other videos through. Uh, Blu-rays and such and uh, go to get my protein drink ready go back to that TV's on but the PlayStation is still blinking I said ah, maybe I missed it maybe the remote didn't catch it or something so I click it on again it beeps for a few times flashes a yellow light and goes back to the red now I thought uh, maybe something was gone wrong with the uh, power so I switched the plugs turned it back on flashed a few times and it goes back out again. So I Google it, and I had heard about it before. It's known as the yellow light of death because within that time that it turns on and starts flashing red, there's a little blip of yellow that goes on. So what we have now is a dead PlayStation 3, and that's this guy right here, or this guy right here, PlayStation 3 been a good companion for me. It's one of the original Fat Boys. I did replace the hard drive for a bigger one and it's a SSD one I believe so it's faster and it did improve the performance and everything. But now it's dead. So what comes down to is the heat sinks on the processors they have either come loose or it's starting to crack uh, the connection and it just doesn't power on anymore. So I looked around on the web, YouTube obviously, and I found a few videos out there and I found the solution to it. And this was done by the iFixit guys. So I ordered up the uh, iFixit kit that they have. It's uh, relatively easy. I think it was 40 bucks. Got that in the other day. So what we're going to do is open this box. I'm going to step through uh, fixing this or trying to fix this because I have opened things before like my iPhone and other electronics, built computers. I don't just review stuff, I actually build stuff and pick stuff apart and usually get it back together. So we're going to take care of this guy, see if we can get it running. But first, let's open up the box that we got from iFixit. So let's get started on this opening. Got my trusty little knife, run it along here, got one of the sides. See what we got going on in here. Aside from a lot of peanuts, I leave like that, I'm sure. So they provide pretty much everything you need to do this one and a couple other ones. You get your heat gun, because you do need a heat gun to uh, get it going. And I also got the uh, little tool kit that they provide. And that's about it for the peanuts. Let's see what else we got right here. Inside here should be the whole kit for the repair. And that's what we have right here. So let's open this guy up. It's called the iFixit PlayStation 3 Yolo Kit of Death Fix Kit. So what do we got here? We got a tool, a sponger, that helps remove plastic parts, usually for uh, Got another uh, repair repair tool here, a little plastic thing, probably help to pry things away. We got some new thermal paste to put on the heat sinks. And then we got uh, different various sizes of spacers that go on to between it. And we also get a kit. So I may not have needed this, but it does have some extra bits that I may use down the road. So let's get started. 
And let's see if we can get this guy beyond the death of yellow light and back onto my uh, TV. Alright guys, I had to run a few errands, but I'm back and I'm really ready to battle the uh, PS3 situation. Got all the tools here. Got the website for ifixit.com all set up with its 52 steps uh, set up. They say it's about one to two hour uh, process. So I'm going to probably speed up things here as we go along because you're probably better off to look at their website at their step by step instead of going through the steps. But I just want to see if I can do this and if it's uh, going to get my PS3 back and working for me. So let's get started.
So I got it disassembled as you can see, getting ready to uh, redo the thermal paste on the chips. As you can see it's uh, cooling off at the moment. I gotta let that cool off and then once I can do that I can put the new uh, thermal pads on it, reassemble it and fire it up. So until then we'll see what's going on. So stay tuned. Alright I got it all back together. All I did is follow the instructions on ifixit.com uh, in reverse order obviously to put it back together. I'm going to hook it up to the TV, see if it works, and I'll let you know in a future vlog, but uh, I just wanted to go over it for you. It's per seemed pretty simple. I mean, they say it's a difficult uh, thing to do uh, in their instructions, but I was able to uh, disassemble it and reassemble it without any extra screws or anything. But the real test is coming up when I hook it up to the TV and see if it will even uh, turn on. All right. Well, it's the next day from my uh, PS3 excursion through the electronics there. Uh, last night I got it running a couple times. The fan was going crazy. I thought it was about to take off, so I didn't go any farther than that. Shut it down a few times. Uh, let it sit overnight. And sadly enough, this morning the uh, yellow light of death was back, so uh, it's back to the drawing board. But most likely what I'll do is just uh, transition the games I really like playing on PS3 over to my PS4 and just head on out from there. So that's about it for that. Uh, it's up to you if you want to try it. I know some people are able to get their machines going with this fix. I'll put the link, like I said, down below. Uh, it's ifixit.com. Some people did get it going, some people didn't. So it's a give or take. Otherwise you get to learn about the innards of your PS3 and it's a nice little tour through your uh, electronics there. You get to learn your electronics a little better. You get a heat gun out of it. So I got a heat gun out of that. I didn't have one of those. But uh, it was fun to do anyway. If, if it went, it went. If it didn't, it didn't. But, uh, and, and it didn't. So that's how it sits. So I'll catch you next time and have a great week.